Okay, keep notice of the orientation of these parts. Take your uh, CA accelerator uh, toothpick. You have a little bit of CA accelerator on the toothpick end and dab it on the part where you're going to be installing the snap-on plastic supports. So we're going to be dabbing a little bit of CA accelerator there and in the center here of this horizontal vertical or horizontal stabilizer. Vertical and horizontal stabilizers. Once you've applied the CA accelerator to these parts, these parts are primed and ready for the parts to be attached with CA glue. Take your CA glue apply a little bit of CA glue to your paper for control and grab the part with the tip of uh, the exacto knife dab it in the in the glue make sure you don't get any of the CA glue inside the part dab it and this is a one-shot deal align the part before you press into the part with the line of this slot here make sure that it's parallel and that the slot faces up also make sure that the end of this part is aligned with the end of this vertical stabilizer. You don't want it in the middle, you don't want it in the rear. Now I'll explain that later on. You want this part, the front, facing the, the front. Apply it, hold it, release it. And that's how that part is done. Take your time and repeat the same process with the horizontal stabilizer. Grab the plastic part, insert it into the exacto tip of the blade, grab a little bit of CA glue, and make sure that this is, is uh, as center as possible on this particular part here. There are two perforations side by side here, and this part needs to go in between those two. The perforations are to hold the boobs and supports, which I'll show that next in the next assembly. So center this part. This part can be centered in this horizontal stabilizer. It doesn't matter um, if it's a little bit forward or rearward as long as it's in the center. Now let me do this again. Grab a little bit of CA glue and apply that part. Hold it. Make sure it's between those two holes and release as an instant bonder. If you're concerned, if these parts uh, need a little more CA glue, use a little more CA glue with your toothpick. Take your toothpick and dab a little more CA glue on the where the parts join the, uh, the G10 stabilizer. And once that's done, you're all set. These parts can be uh, snapped onto the uh, boom support. Now, now the reason we're doing these parts this way, using uh, glue to apply these parts, is to keep these fins strong by making them out of a G10 material. G10 is a, a fiberglass. Uh, composite material and uh, without using screws or, or hardware I don't I don't want to use screws or hardware on these parts because that adds a little more weight to the tail and as and, and this is you know the helicopter uh, needs to be, be kept light at, at the rear section at the front you, you can you can always add a little more weight that doesn't hurt the helicopters uh, char flying characteristics but at the tail I it's just a personal choice I don't like using hardware in, in the rear if, if you don't have to and these parts work extremely well uh, so uh, this is the reason why we're doing it this particular way so that completes the assembly of the vertical fins with the snap-on parts okay the next thing you're going to do is you're going to slit these rubber parts here these are the parts that get attached to the battery clip which are these tabs here and they need to be slit so they can fit around this section here so take these parts and slit them with your knife working carefully 
from one end. You may need to complete the slit by sliding the rubber part on the blade a little bit more. Do it gently so you don't poke yourself with a knife. Slit it, slit it and you're all set. You have a slit, you have an opening there that you can now take this part and slide it into these tabs here. And what that's going to do is going to provide you with a snug uh, snap-on feature for the battery. Repeat that and align these. Make sure that they're centered with these tabs and all the way seated all the way on the uh, on these tabs. To secure these parts, you're going to take your uh, toothpick, a little bit of CA glue, and apply CA glue to the ends here. Apply a little bit of CA glue there, there. Turn it around and I'll repeat the same process at the front here. Let that dry so that these parts hold on to the, uh, the the tabs. You don't want these parts coming out, so that's the purpose of the CA glue. And so that's how that gets uh, installed and that completes the uh, disassembly of the battery clip-on feature. Okay, assembly of the boom supports to the landing gear uh, assembly or the uh, the base of the landing gear which is the section here. In the kit we are including three small bolts as well as three matching nuts. Now the reason for the three you only need two but we decided to include another one because these parts are so tiny that in case you lose one during this assembly you can always go back and give it a second shot. Take your time and typically the way this gets assembled you should be doing this over a um, uh, small uh, piece of cloth, uh, towel perhaps, uh, because these parts tend to bounce off hard surfaces. This is a hard surface and these parts will tend to bounce off the surface and you risk losing those parts. So do it over a cloth. I don't have a cloth here with me but um, but we recommend that you do place one over the table while you're assembling this uh, section next. And what you're going to do is make sure that these parts are once again oriented this, the uh, correct way. Now remember what I mentioned in the start of this uh, video is that all these parts get the, uh, the shiny part, the part that's painted, faces outward. That's a, that's a nice part that you want to see it on, uh, once you get assembled. Now these parts are a little bit dull on the on the inside, on this side here, so that's the part that gets placed face the inside of the assembly. Okay, not all the parts are dull. Keep that in mind. That depends on the color. Some colors bleed uh, more vividly through the uh, translucent G10 material that we're using here, and so they're not painted on the other side. And some parts do not bleed as well and we have to paint the other sides for um, aesthetical uh, purposes. So keep that in mind. Note the orientation once again of the uh, these parts. Let me switch this. This part should be over here and that part should be there because we're going to flip these. Note, note these brackets here the way they're sitting. We're going to flip this over and I'll assemble that next and we'll take a look at the whole assembly. Okay, let's see if we can capture this uh, this assembly here. Insert the little tiny screw through the outside of this assembly and through the uh, bracket for the boom support. And you are going to take a little little tiny nut. Okay, so this is the assembly of the uh, boom supports onto the uh, landing gear section here. Now, if you've managed to uh, uh, do this uh, slowly you should still have the uh, spare nut, nut and bolt. Keep these just in case, put them in your uh, MCPX parts box. Okay, we'll do the installation of the horizontal fin to the boom brackets next. That part gets installed like that. And we're going to be using the same CA glue application process that we use for the other parts. We'll do that next.
Okay, take your toothpick dipped in a CA accelerator spray and apply that to the sides of the horizontal fin. Actually this fin should be facing that way because this is the front of the, uh, the helicopter right here. And once you do that, that part's been primed and ready for the, uh, the gluing of the two small boom support uh, rods or brackets. Using the same technique of applying the CA glue with the toothpick, repeat the same process, apply a little bit of CA glue to the parts right here, right at the base there and around that little bridge pointy tab there. And once again, because we're using CA accelerator as a primer, this is a one-shot deal, so make sure that you get this right. Get comfortable holding the part and apply it right into that little hole there. Make sure it's flush with the hole. You may have a little more time if you don't use the CA accelerator spray. And repeat the same process with the other part. CA glue applied to the base of the part, of that section over that area of the part, and snapping right onto the little hole there. Hold it in place, make sure it's aligned, and that's how that part gets assembled. Okay, so this completes the assembly of the landing gear support boom support and horizontal tail fin.